kitties and beauties it's your girl mina milan and i'm back with another unboxing video thank you so much for coming with me into 2021 i am so blessed to have you here watching me right now it is my very first video of 2021 and i wanted to come correct honey so here i am with you with a natural beat um this is my frontal that i got done and i just got it re-put back on and then i got some braids on the sides and then i just got them curled and this is makeup by me this top is actually from fashion nova that i got i will place it down below it's very professional comfortable and it's cute i've actually worn it once and it washes really well so it's looking really good and white right now so i am coming to you with a pair of yes shoes you all know i love me a good heel so I've been wanting these shoes for so long, okay? But I was always kind of funny about them because they are slingbacks. And I always felt like slingbacks always kind of like hurt the back of my foot. But I wanted to try these because they're beautiful. I mean, they are literally so beautiful. They're so professional looking and surprisingly super, super comfortable. So let me open it for you guys. I've actually had it for a couple days now, but um, I wanted to be able to do this proper and right and wait till 2021 to open it with you guys. So let's see what they look like. Yes, so these are really, really adorable. Um, one thing about these shoes is that um, they do run small as you know, every luxury shoe does. So I actually went up to a 42 in these. And another thing I really like about them is that on the sole of the shoe, it's like a soft, soft, like a suede. So you won't, I don't think you'll hear that click, click, clack, clack. Because when I tried them on in Neiman Marcus, I mean, obviously Neiman Marcus has carpet. So I didn't really hear any click, click, clack, clack. But it also makes me feel a little worried because these are going to be, again, another pair of shoes I'm going to have to get covered. Because, I mean they will tear so easily. I mean, even just my nail just going like this makes a line. So let me see if you can see that. Like, you see what I'm saying? So I know walking around in Arizona, like they're just, the, the sole is gonna be ruined. Um, but the stitching on this is incredible. And one of the features I really like about this shoe is that this is very, very, very comfortable for some reason. I think the problem I was having before was that this actual sling black was just way too skinny. So it would dig into the back of my foot and like just be a total sore at the end of the night in, in my foot. And that's just something I just cannot go through. Um, I really like the bow on the side. That gives me very corporate African-American sharp. I'm coming through. Don't play with me. I'm here to shine and I'm also here to do work. Look. So I really like this bow. It has like a little bit of a sponge inside. I guess just to keep it look fluffy. But it's super cute. I'm really, really excited to try these on. Um, I'm so grateful and blessed to have these. I'm so happy I went up to a 42 because they I tried on a 41 in the store and it was extremely way too small. Actually, it wasn't extremely too small. Um, I could have probably did it, but y'all know how I am. If it ain't comfortable, I ain't getting it. So, but these shoes, as I was trying them on, even though that they were a little snug, they were still comfortable. So I knew if I went up a size, it would be like total comfort, can rock all day in these. Um, also, one of the things I like is the black patent leather of the shoe. It's a super shiny, I don't think it'll scratch. Um, yeah, it's giving me, you know, these are very careful shoes. I don't even know genuinely if these are everyday work shoes. You know what I mean? I mean, just go grab you a good pair of Steven Maddens. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause these are just too beautiful just to mess up, honestly. And they even have them in red and you all know I love the color. Well, you all actually don't know that because I'm new to YouTube. So, but yes, my favorite colors are blue, white, pink, and red. So they also have these in red, but I want to try the black because I don't have any black pumps. I have a lot of open toe shoes, but I don't have any black pumps because it gets so hot out here in Arizona that, you know, it gets you hot right here. You know, you get hot right here. Um, but since right now it's January, it's January 2nd, and uh, yeah, 
I really am excited to try these on. I am so excited to show you all what they look like on my feet. I've been wanting these for so long. Like, they have been in my archive for probably a, like over a year now, genuinely. And every time I try to go in, they never have my size. And they've actually been sold out online as well. Um, yay! I'm so happy. Oh my god. You guys will understand, I've been wanting this for so, so long, like, I just feel so like my, well, they're not my dreams, but they're like my fashion dreams have came true. So let's try them on, see how they look. So, so far, for some reason, they're much more comfortable in the store. Um, I don't know why. Maybe because I had on other heels that weren't that comfortable. And when I put these on, it was like, ooh. You know, but they're comfortable. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10 comfort level, I would give... I'd give a 7. I'd give a... I'd give a 7. I feel, I'd give a 7. So, if you're like a really, really heel girl, like you wear heels all the time, they're a 10, like they're super comfortable. Like I, I can walk, I mean, you know, I can walk on a street with them. I can dance in them, but they're not everyday work shoes. At least not for me. They're just not everyday work shoes. And the only thing is because, but girl, they are so cute. They might be like work shoes where like, okay, I'm gonna come in, stop being at work, you know, do what I gotta do or meet with a very important client. You know what I mean? But they're not like, you know, every day clicking and bucking and flicking it. I'm like, no. But they're definitely cute. They're perfect. I mean, they're very much me. If you're, you know, bougie classy, I mean, but a little bit nasty, they're you, like, period. So definitely get them. Um, my favorite thing about them is this cute little bow. I love it. I'm a huge bow girl ever since high school. Um, I grew up, like, in the era where girls wore bows in their hair. It's not like the bows, like the child bows. But like, you know how you would wear a ponytail with the bow on the back? Girl from the birds, I don't know, period. I, I mean, I don't know if y'all know, but we used to do that. We used to like to put the little bows on the back, like the big bow. And I used to play basketball, and I would always have a pink bow in my hair, and these just give me that same vibe, so. Girl, I love them, girl. They, they so, they, they're like, you, 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 they make you feel like that sexy boss, like. I don't know, I just love them. Um, so yeah, so grateful and blessed to have them, finally. So I'm so happy I went up in the 42 because girl, and that might be, are not big, like, but they're like, they're 42, but they're not big, like. Oh, these are called the Dior Jadior Slingback Pump. If anybody's wondering, I'll link it down below. I don't know if they're still, I, I'll link. I got them from Nima Marcus. Oh, let me give you all the facts. on the Dior website. I'm not usually part of like the fad, like, or the, like, the trends or whatever, like, I'm not trying to be the trend, but these I had to have. So the, the Diador, the, the Diador Slingback Pump is a prime example of Dior Savoir Faire, crafted in the Italian Christian Dior Archiviers. The silhouette is presented in black patent calfskin. The two-tone embroidered Jadio ribbon is embellished with a flat bow, a signature detail in Maria uh, Grazia Chiri's shoe collection. A 10 centimeter comma heel offers a final elegant touch ideal for evening attire. 
that's what it's giving me. It's giving me evening attire vibes, but it can even be like cute day if you're really like, you know, really that type of girl, um, which is what I am. But I love them. They're comfortable. The other thing I like about these shoes is the arch is not bad, but it gives you that, that, it's very hard to explain, and this is what they did with this heel. So this heel, let me take it off and show you. So within this heel, you know how most heels will go on the back of right here? So it'll make your foot look kind of long, if you know what I mean? You know how you're wearing like, let's say you don't have the highest arch, right? And you're taking a picture and you're out and you have on like a sandal heel and you know how it gets the side of your foot and your foot just looks like it's just sitting on top of the heel but it's not curving on top of the heel. You, you, you know what I mean if you know what I mean. So, but what John Dior did was that they put the actual heel a little bit closer into the actual ball of the foot to give it that illusion of that it's actually molded into the heel. See, this is, this is, see, I, I, I am very, very watchful of my shoes and I feel like that that was genius what they did because now if you get that side profile picture, it looks like that your foot is actually carved into the heel even if you don't have the highest arch. You know what I'm saying? So I love that they did that and I'm actually gonna buy more of these for that exact reason. So one of the things I like about luxury shoes is that, well, they're not really luxury, they're just design. I mean, they're so obtainable by anybody, but I like the thought process that they put into them to really give you that look because I feel like with designer shoes, they're meant to be photographed. Does that make sense? Because, I mean, they put them on runways, things like that. So they, they take into detail how to craft that shoe to make it photographable. I mean, I think that's a word. What's the word I'm looking for? Photogenic. Do you know what I'm saying? So, cause they know that every woman doesn't have the highest arch. So with that included, like with this being, you see that? That right there gives your foot the illusion that it's just molded into it. it gives it that sexy, you know, I wear heels every day type of foot look. Do you know what I mean? And I love it. I love it. It's so beautiful. Let's get a close-up because I haven't given you guys one. Um, but it's got Ja Dior, Ja Dior all over it. Mm-hmm. All over it. It's got Christian Dior on the inside. These are actually my first pair of Christian Dior shoes. I actually got a pair of tennis shoes. But y'all don't want to see those. Comment down below if you want me to do a review on those. They're super cute. They're the Ja Dior. They're black ones too. They're just everyday. They look very converse -y. And they're actually amazing because the shoe actually has laces, but you actually just slip it on. It's like a slip on, but it has laces on the top. It's so cute and comfortable and it's perfect for every day. I'm actually gonna wear them today, actually. Um, and yeah, look, I've already walked around my floor and look how it looks. See, the thing about these designer shoes is they're not meant for the girls that work, work, work. They're meant for the girls that get in and out that Lambo and back in that Lambo. In and out that Lambo and back in that Lambo. Okay, go to dinner, that's it. This, this is not, not saying you have to drive a Lamborghini to rock these shoes, but what I'm saying is, you know, like, they're, they're dinner evening wear. They're not for, you know, clicking and bucking. So, again, Tony has been getting so much money from me lately. Tony is my shoe repair guy, okay? This man, I mean, come on. Now I gotta take these to them before I wear them? Oh. oh my God. It's just like, and he's so far, but it's worth it. I love Tony and he's so sweet. And he's really well priced. But yeah, I gotta get these fixed because as soon as I go outside in Arizona with those rocks, that gravel girl, this may be showing my foot. So they're made well, but they're just not made well on the sole because they're not made to, to rock, you know, every day. They're just not. Neither is Christian Louboutin, neither is Saint Laurent, neither is any of these shoes. I would say that Gucci is a shoe that you can rock every day. Um, they have some pretty good everyday shoes. But yeah, all in all, oh, I'm wearing the other one. <laughs> uh, they're actually that 
comfortable where I just forgot I was wearing it. All in all, I give these out of 10. All in all with comfort look, material made, everything. I give these, honestly I give them about a, oh, but then it's the soul, you know. I would give them a nine. I would, but the sole on the bottom, I mean, these need to be better made. But if you don't care to go and just, you know, get them, um, that they put like this sealant on them, they're definitely a nine. They're definitely a nine. They're perfect. Yes. All in all, these shoes, uh, I didn't even give you guys a price. They were $8.90, okay, flat. Uh, with tax, I think that they came out to like maybe nine something, nine twenty. Um, and all in all, I love these shoes, and I genuinely, genuinely am so grateful to have them because I've literally been looking for them like everywhere, and I am so happy that I finally have them like as part of my closet because they're so so me, and they could be so so you. I mean, they really could go with any style. They could be paired with jeans. They could be paired with leggings. They could be paired with a sweatshirt. And leggings, they can wear with a sexy evening dress. I mean, they're so versatile. Like, they take any outfit from, you know, what it was to now what it is, you know. All in all, I completely love these shoes. I hope you all are enjoying my videos. I am really, really trying to upload quality videos for you guys. I hope that you all are enjoying my content. Make sure that you comment down below and subscribe. Also, make sure that you're kind to yourself and you're kind to others. You never know what people are going through. Seriously, God bless you all in 2021.